Hi guys, it's Nick Varios, and welcome back to Fashion School with Nick Varios. Today, we're gonna drape a collar. Okay, so I realized that in all my video tutorials that I have filmed here on my YouTube channel, I've never done a collar draping video. So I thought, well, let's just start doing that right now. So today I want to show you how to drape a shawl collar. That's our first collar to drape. Now, in case you're wondering, Nick, what is a shawl collar? Well, I'm wearing one. See? It's all in one collar. It doesn't have a notch, you know, like traditional jacket collars. And it's one of the most popular colors. People just love them. I also have designed shawl collars for my Nikolaiki dress line. So in case you're thinking, it's just for jackets, hello. It's not. You can do it for dresses too. All right, so let's get started. Before you begin draping your shawl collar, you're going to need to prep your muslin. Of course, you're going to need muslin to drape your shawl collar. So first, cut a piece of muslin that is 14 long by 20 inches wide. Got it? Now, once you've done that, draw a 1 inch line parallel to the selvage, just like this. Once you've done that, then draw another line that is perpendicular to that first line you drew right in the middle of your selvage. Got it? Just like that. Now, measure about four inches in from that selvage. See? Boom! Right there. And then cut out a section, kind of like a rectangle. All right, there you are. Now you've prepped your muslin and we're ready to drape. Okay guys, as you can see, I have my form right here, I've got my pins, and I've got my muslin prepped, but you should also mark where you want your shawl collar to end, all right, kind of like a style line. So get your marking tape, I've got my marking tape right here, a little red mark, and you want to just mark it where you want your shawl. See, look, look at me, mine ends right here, all right, so it's a little above the waist, okay. So I'm going to mark this from the shoulder right here, and then I I think I want it to end, um, I guess right there, okay? Right around the bus line, okay? And then just stop it and then cut it, all right? And there's my line, all right? Now you can begin draping. Turn your form around and we're gonna start with the back. Now this is why I asked you to prep your muslin and do the little cutout, just like this, see? See how you cut it out? You cut this part out, all right? And so what you wanna do is you wanna turn it like this and right where it's cut out, about half an inch away, pin your first pin at the center back. Notice you've got that one inch grain. Do you see that? And that's where it's gonna be. So pin right at the neckline. So you wanna pin, and I like to slide it, do the slide method, cause that really hunkers it there, okay? See, it's not going anywhere, okay? So then put a couple pins right there, and then do the same around the neck. Now once you're turning it around, see, by cutting that out, that makes it easier so you don't have all that extra fabric right there. So kind of shift it. Now notice right there, it's pulling. So what do you do? You clip and ah, all right? So get your scissors out and then watch just little clips. Right there, look at what it's gonna do. Look, 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 see where there's tension right there? And just go, oh, oh, see? And that makes it easier for you to twist around. See, twist it around. Now you can fold this down, all right? You can fold it down to where you want it to be. Now this is called the stand. See the stand, how high does your collar stand? So you can kind of fold your drape like this, see? To where you want the stand to be, all right? And so I would say, you know what? Let's see, kind of like the height of the neck. That's good, see? And there's your grain line. Try to keep this straight, okay? So what you wanna do is then try and pin that down, okay? So pin it right here at the top, see? Just like that, all right? Now you can begin draping. So the whole point is then to turn your form around and start manipulating draping. Oh my God, shut up! It's beginning to be a shawl collar. So just lightly, lightly, you want to just manipulate it. Now you gotta pay attention to what's going on in here. See, there's pulling. So clip, don't clip too much, all right? But just lightly clip until it doesn't pull anymore. See, right there, you've released the tension, all right? Very important part of the draping. So then now, 
fold it again, and then now sort of drape where you want it. So how do you want this to fall? Do you want it to fall very wide? Do you not want it to fall very wide? You can do, you can go here, see? See how it goes closer? Do you see that? So you want it closer? I don't really. I kind of want it to go a little more dramatic. Oh, that's a little better, all right? So you want to soften this and then sort of lay it to where it wants to go. Now that's a little better, see? That's a little better right there. And so then kind of lightly, that's where it's gonna end. Pin, okay? Now that might change, but watch. Now you've got some important things to deal with. First, what's going on underneath? Make sure that, look, this is smooth, and guess what? It is, okay? But I still would like to clip and ah, all right? So clip some of this excess, because you won't need it. Be careful that you do not go, go very close, but not too close to your red style line mark, okay? And then cut away, bye-bye, and keep doing this. Just cut away, bye-bye, all right? That will help the smoothing and the draping. So cut, all right? See, look, what's going on? See, right there? right there now fold back all right now this is where your shawl collar will really take shape so watch do you guys see that right there tension that's not cute okay so this is where you clip and ah uh, and then watch see look my grain has shifted so what you want to do is clip not too high and then smooth it so oh it's straight all right so keep clipping because look tension there's tension all right the minute you see it clip <gasps> oh okay i'm seriously getting the shivers all right okay when you get the shivers and your hair stands up that means you're doing a good clip and off because look see and your shawl collar is taking shape keep doing that all right keep doing that see a little bit of tension there you can just clip and release a little bit of that. And then now it falls better. It looks better. It looks more dramatic, more couture. All right? So keep clipping and then you can cut. All right? You can cut. Keep clipping. And I think we're almost ready now to mark. All right? So get your pencil or your Sharpie and start marking. Now I'm going to start with the back. Always mark a little below where your neckline is, which is right here. See? Look. Here's your neckline, all right? And so you wanna mark a little below it. Now, start marking right here in the neckline. You wanna do the under part first, all right? So mark, mark, mark your shoulder, all right? Lift this up, and if you want to, you can pin here just to hold it. See, look, like that, that'll hold it. Now, this is why it's good to have your little red tape because it helps you to know where you can mark. And we're gonna mark right to the end, right there. Now, fold back carefully. Look at that, there's your drape. Okay, now mark. Okay, so mark. You can do it with little dots or broken lines. Keep going. This is where you can create. You're the designer, you're the artist, you're the draper, all right? And so then keep folding. Now, a lot of people can go to nothing. Or you can do a little curve. You can do whatever you want. You can do a point. I'm gonna go to nothing, so I'm gonna just mark it, mark it. This is where you design. And then I'm gonna go to nothing right there. Okay, I think that's cute, all right? And now you can cut this excess right here. So go up and then cut to about a quarter of an inch away from your shawl collar. Okay, look what's happening. And just cut, cut, cut. Bye-bye, and then cut in here so now you can go underneath all right and now fold back <gasps> finish here and um, guess what kids this is how you drape a shawl collar thanks for tuning in to fashion school with Nick Varios make sure to like subscribe and share and don't forget Leave your comments and questions below.